Let's get back into this one. All right, it's been a minute since the last video. Um, some of the things I've done in between videos is nothing. That's why there's been no video up. A few of you guys pointed out, or a couple pointed out in a previous video that this thing was misfiring. That's correct. Um, the plug in cylinder six has no porcelain on it, so I'm guessing it's jumping spark. But for today, we are going to be messing around with manifolds and seeing what problems are going to arise from that. So let's get these extractors off. So extractors are off, plugs are all off and uh, labelled. There's that uh, misfire. Here I have some beautifully presented factory cast manifolds. And so let's make them work. All right, so I was hoping to simply swap driver's side to passenger side and vice versa and have them like this and have him coming down like that. But the problem with that is I'm hitting on the engine mount right here. So that's not going to work. So this is the driver's side one, like that. And we can go like that. So that's one sorted. The only problem I can see running into, as you can see on the hockey stick down here, it is at the start of the adjustment. So if I needed to adjust this belt out, not that I'm going to be keeping this Gilmore, um, you know, that would totally throw this off and render it useless. So I'm going to have to move this. I'm definitely going to have to move that. And I'm definitely going to have to put this down because these are heavy. All right, so that's one side in. Some idiot whacked a few bolts in for me. Um, but as you can see, it's not really the best angle. Following along. We'd have to him straight out there. And I'm hoping for placement of turbo around about like here. So, um, yeah, the alternator's got to go. Not go, it needs to be moved. The driver's side isn't going to be this easy. I know this because getting the extractors out was an absolute nightmare. As you can see already, it's hitting on the uh, brake lines to the proportioning valve. I wonder if I can uh, gently coerce these with force, just a smidge over. Oh, you're joking. It's almost there. So that's lined up. But as you can see, my brake lines are on it. I wonder if I can, no, that's a dumb idea. It's fine if you put this on the internet, as long as you say gently, I'm gonna gently force this proportioning valve over this way towards me, gently with this pry bar. Oh, it's not touching, but it's bloody close. That's fine. <coughs> ah! All right. So the manifold is off. I could not get one of the bolts in and I could not work out why. Pulling it out, it was easy to see. Looking at this bolt hole, this one's a lot smaller. We'll zoom in. So I thought this was isolated to just this manifold. And I thought that the smaller hole may be because this is originally where the dipstick would go. But I went over to this one 
it's exactly the same. I ended up trying to put the, all the bolts in. All of them went in except this one. So, then I got a gasket. We're going to the light. You can see all the way through that one. Go over to here. You can see that this gasket's not perfect and it is used, so it's going to be off center. But you can see there's still a bit of meat around there. So, it's not isolated to one manifold. Maybe it is for the dipstick. Not, I know Tiranas are on the same side, or well, the dipstick's on the same side, because this one has a Tirana sump in it. Um, so it's not that, but yeah, it's weird. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hog out this hole a little bit, probably to the same size as the gasket, and then it will be happy days. Oh no, it's one of those holes with a step bit. All right, so as you can tell, I'm in a different pair of clothes, so it's been at least three days. Um, I really wasn't winning with um, putting the manifolds on the car. I was keep going backwards and forwards and back and forth, on and off, on and off. So I uh, cheated. Don't have a home for this thing to go in, so it's going to be my mock-up motor. So I'll show you what I did. All right, so what I've done is, obviously the boat, bolts aren't straight across like that. These two needed to be elongated upwards, whereas these ones needed to be elongated downwards. Both sides, that's it. But, um, yeah, as you can see, I just finished that one up. So I really don't like how that one comes up like that, but I really don't have a choice. Also, Food for thought. Uh, yeah, no, that ain't going to work. I think I'm going to have to get some leads with the 90. I'm wondering if I make my own leads, if I can go around and under like that. I reckon that might look, look neat. But I've got two manifolds on. Now they have to come off. All right, so I was going to have a spill about how I'm going to do a nut and a nut, lock them off, heat it up and try and unwind it and just end up snapping the stud off. Just put the nut, nuts on there, went to tight nut, have a go at this. I had to film it because you never would have believed me. What a giant. Right, that's how you successfully remove a stud. Now I'm going to snap the rest. It's fine. All right, so studs are out. Now I'm gonna be removing this lip so that I can fit a more traditional flange on. Um, this is the same as what uh, Talk Hub did on their, their five liter video, turbo five liter video. So I'm just pretty much copying theirs, but this is Baycast heads. Um, I'm also borrowing their idea, well, kind of borrowing their idea of having a mock-up motor. I already had it in my mind that I wanted a mock-up motor, um, but then they said it and I was more sold on the idea, so it's the idea for that. I just hadn't brought it up yet. So let's get the grinder out. <laughs>
All right, there is the finished product. All right, apart from having array taps and threads for the studs, this thing's pretty much done. It's pretty straightforward, apart from snapping studs, but you get that with these old manifolds. I did come across one thing, and I'll show you it right now. Here's my flange. Here's the end of the manifold. Put this on. Flip him around. In place. So, I don't know what's up with that. Maybe it's my work, it's not completely flat. Maybe there's something up with the flange. Once I get some studs on it and I can put a gasket on it, I will uh, double check and uh, I'll have to let you know what the verdict was. But saying that, that's the end of this video. I wanted to leave the manifolds just as one video. And then when we come back to this, we'll be continuing on with the hot side. Still haven't figured out what size turbo I want to go or how I want to route the, uh, the hot side, but that'll all come next episode. So if you like the video, leave a like, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and take it easy. Ooh.